Guys, what is up? We have finally got our booth put together for the 2022 Western Hunt and Conservation Expo. We are going to be here from today, the 10th, until Sunday, the 13th. Come and check out our booth. Come see us. Come hang out with us. Tell us some hunting stories. A couple things to keep in mind. It's great weather here in Salt Lake, so traveling should be super easy and comfortable. Number two, we have a discount code for anybody who is buying single day passes to come down to the expo. So admission tickets are $10 off with the code HUSH22 on the website. And the link is in the description box right, at, right below the video. So click that link and use HUSH22 and save 10 bucks. Hey, last but not least, aside from the taxidermy, we got a bunch of new designs dropping exclusively here at the show. So make sure you check that out. And now on to BSY4, a new episode right now. Right the second. Go, go and enjoy it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Best Season Yet 4.0. On this series, I am hunting mule deer out here in Colorado during their fourth season. And this is actually the same hunt that Casey's hunting right now with his daughter. They got out here before me, so I'm running a little late and I actually lost a day of hunting because I didn't get the landowner voucher validated until, you know, today. I did get my tag validated yesterday, so today's Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. It's also the day that my solo archery elk hunt went live, and for those who watched it and, and commented, thank you guys. That video seems to be doing really well already, and it, and it just barely went live. Anyways, I'm out here looking for a mule deer buck with my rifle. I brought the 300 Weatherby. I've got my spotting scope. I got a pack ready for tonight. And I'm gonna go hit a zone that my friend actually tipped me off to. He said he was seeing a lot of deer up here in the third season. And with a lot of does, you never know what's gonna roll in. So all we can do is get up here and go check it out. But uh, I'll be at the little hiking spot in about 15 minutes and then we'll get up on the mountain and start glassing for bucks. Well guys, I've never been to this exact spot, so we're gonna see what we can find tonight, but we've got some warm clothes in the exo pack. Gotta get my uh, spotty scope tripod and rifle on here, but we'll take care of that and we'll see if we can find some deer. Well, one interesting thing is um, that I'm not sure how these deer are gonna be acting or migrating or moving through some of this giant burn so a bunch of the unit burned last year and that seems to have changed a lot so be cruising up this canyon um it's gonna be hard to know until i get up there but i think the majority of this place is scorched so will we find deer in the burn or not man this is just crazy seeing this place freaking wide open scorched you can tell that some of this country would have been nearly impossible to hunt before because it was just pure timber and now you got this burn that ran through here and you got wide open I haven't seen a ton of deer tracks yet but I've seen some with it being this sunny and warm I'm sure these deer are gonna be held up on the north slopes possibly in some of these little snowy pockets. So that's the goal. <laughs> it's like hunting on the moon. Some spots are worse with dust, but dusty up here. Finally had a spot that looks like a good vantage to uh, glass this giant canyon that is just torched. We're high enough now that some of these north slopes actually have some snow. So with it being this sunny, I'm sure the deer bedded over in the snow and it might make it easier for me to spot them. But I'm just gonna pick apart this big south slope and really focus on that big north slope. Look for bucks bedded and deer moving. 
should still be rutting so if that's the case you never know it's going to show up in here maybe a big old buck so let's get to a glass in and I'll, I'll keep you guys posted well we've got our first deer in the glass finally it took me a long long time and this one is bedded now but when i first saw it it was it was actually standing so i'm filming it through the scope up in that canyon and down to the left of her is another doe so the good thing is should be a buck somewhere close by so i'm just going to keep picking it apart where they're at um and try to find a buck they're a ways away but if i needed to with enough time i could probably make something happen if a buck did step out so let's uh keep picking this apart and looking for something with the antlers on it it's been a super slow evening i've only glassed two deer and it ended up being a tiny little spike and a doe so i watched them it's interesting to watch them feed out in that burn but they were running around i don't know if they're just kind of goofing off or what they're kind of bouncing around the ridge and acting weird i thought maybe a big buck was was uh up there pushing does but never did see one so i'm gonna cruise over the top of this and glass down in this canyon see what i can see We've got just a little over a half hour. As you can see, the sun is just about to the horizon. So, 30 more minutes. Yeah, hope you guys are having, having a happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> There's some deer tracks here, but man, they're old. Just before last slide, I got my first look at a decent buck. Looks like a four point to me. Um, I saw him through the scope before I started filming. But looks like a four point that's got some broken points. Not a very big buck. Not not what I'd like to shoot, but I'm not gonna lie, I got a little got a little excited when you see a deer and big old dark black antlers on his head. I got pretty excited just to see a buck. So that was fun. I'm glad I got to see something for day one, but I'm just bombing down at last light now. Glass on when I can, but I think I'm kinda out of the zone now. So off to dinner we go and I'll just pick up tomorrow since this was, you know, not much for a video. We'll, we'll just, uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. We'll be right back after it at first light. Well, good morning guys. It's 5.45, which I'm stoked on because I thought with the drive we'd get here around 6. So we're, we just gained an extra 15 minutes for our hike. I think we want to be at the glassing knob at about 6.45. It's when you can kind of start to see. So I've got my pack loaded down gun spotting scope uh, my binos are in my backpack for the, the hike through the dark and of course i have hunter orange and all that but uh, matt and i are going in i think it's going to take like i said a little bit over an hour to kind of get to first glass we're just going to pick it apart and hope for a big buck it's all it takes is one and uh, i'm excited we're going to actually get after it today the first three days have been pretty lazy hunting if you ask me so for today and tomorrow we're going to try to really get after it and spend all day out there if needed. So grab the packs and get our headlamps on and hike up. Oh, let's go. Is that really all we are? This first hill. A steep one. saw these elk with his eyeballs it's so funny like I've spent spent most of my fall hunting elk they're so much easier to see than deer especially in this color of country but there's a herd of about 10 some light bodied ones that look like bulls so too bad we don't have an elk tag we just need to uh, find a group like that of bucks 
We'll go over here and get the spotting scope and just check them out for fun. No, just a small buck, guys. We got our first buck of the morning. He's with a doe and a fawn. But man, he's looking down the canyon pretty hard, so I always wonder if he's looking at other deer. It's funny, the uh, antlers on the elk and this deer, they're so black from the burn that they're hard to see. Like, I knew those were elk bodies, but I couldn't make out antlers until I got the scope up. Kind of same thing with this guy. So he's looking up at the does, but then he keeps looking back down. Oh, dude, Matt, we need to find a big buck. Like, I have not been excited about a deer in a hunting situation for a while. I just want to see something that gets me pumped. I think if we work this burn, I think we'll find one. Well, we're moving on. We've only seen three deer. Tons of elk, only three deer though. Just gonna keep moving, keep glassing. Try to get some angles into these shady pockets. Cause uh, it's crazy even though it's late November, the sun's up. Slow. Shank meat. It's too bad. Looks like it was quartered at least. I just didn't take the shank meat. There's a lot more elk up here than there is deer. But we're still on the grind. Still moving. Let's gotta find one. This is right where those elk were. And like half of them peeled off this way. So, might run into them again. Gosh, man, if we had an elk tag, this would be perfect. We've seen these bulls this morning, but I think these are some we didn't see because there's two nice ones. Yeah, two good six points, but one's busted after the royal. He's the bigger one. Not shabby, not shabby. I'll get a little video of him. Every year we don't have an elk tag out here. We see decent bulls that we could kill. And when we don't have elk tags, we see... Yeah, when we don't have them, we see the bulls. When we do have elk tags, we don't see the bulls. There we go, right there. Dude, I'm about ready to follow these things. Man, I really think we need to focus, like, glassing these shady sides. Like, this side right here is a little snowy. But we're on the wrong side. <laughs> We're just trying to jump a deer, glass a deer, anything. We're just moving and glassing and moving. Boom. Yeah, Check this out, guys. This is uh, another colorway of our custom flannel. Hunter orange. What's up? We uh, did these flannels in red, tan, gray and green they did really well people seem to like them so we took the same material it's a stretch material and made a like a blaze orange that would meet the requirements for like hunter orange so i'm gonna rock it until we get to the next spot to glass and then i put my puffy coat over but obviously it's a flannel over a jacket so it probably looks a little stuffed but this is a size large but yeah if you guys think you would rock a a blaze orange flannel let us know. It's got all the custom tags, the hush tags, hush buttons. So, if you think you'd use it, 
Let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll have to bring some in. We're going to the pocket tonight, guys. On the, my first time up here, it was an evening hunt. On the way out, I hit a spot covered in deer tracks a lot more than what we see up here. So we're gonna give that a try tonight. It's kind of on the way down too, so we'll post up there and uh, be there till dark. We got one doe down here. It's a nice shady pocket. Some fresh deer tracks right there going down. Oh, I'm just trying to take advantage of like every chance we get to peek around and finally see our first deer. <laughs> yeah, you can see him running through the barn right there. Got worked. We got like 10 minutes of light, but we put some miles on today and got our butts kicked. Finally found a good canyon where there's a lot of does, but there's no bucks. No big bucks anyway, so the rut seems to be chilling. But we're gonna take the next 10 minutes of light and try to glass through here, so 